Yo, what is up? Anthony here with Go Guns, and it is time to do an unboxing. I got something brand new in my hands, and it is the M1 Garand. Finally got one in the box. Okay, let's open this bad boy up and see what's up. Boom! All right. Let's see. Let's check out the box first before we do anything here. Got the M1 Garand. Moving parts, 13 and up. Go guns! Check it out. I know that light's kind of bright, but you, you, you can still kind of see it. <laughs> this one is called Patton. Can't wait to see that st sticker. Got a breakdown on the contents. All right. Let's do it. Okay, so this is my first time seeing the contents of the M1 box. The one that I got was a prototype in it, and we hadn't had the packaging yet, so we're finally getting it. Okay, you know what? Let's start with the contents, the paperwork. All right, starting with... We have the trusty Sarge Reveal Scratcher. Those of you guys who have been collecting those, there might I think there might be some new ones out now, so keep a lookout. Post them in the in the addicts group if you uh if you get a, a one you haven't seen yet. All right. Thanks for your order. Do not return to the store. If there are any issues, such as damage or missing pieces, shoot a message over to support at goguns.com. Our awesome support team will take care of you. Also, text GOAT to 38927 to become part of Sarge's SMS group. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to want to be part of it because... New things that come out will be announced there. And some things that come out sell out very, very fast. So just a heads up. Okay. Sarge sticker. Put that on your water bottle. And here is the M1 Garand sticker. Also known as Patton. Dope. Freaking dope. Putting that on the bottle too. And then we have the Garand Assembly Guide. Parts list. Attach. Boom, boom, boom. Sling. There we go. Instructions for the sling. Boom. But I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, let's open her up. Okay. Man, look at that. Looks beautiful. Not even assembled, it already looks beautiful. But let's see. Okay, we're going to start with the the stock. It's all metal. You can feel like you can feel the weight. Okay, and then we also have the trigger. And then the barrel and receiver. All right. So this piece is going to go right here. 
Oops. Right here. Let's get it on there real good. Just like that. And then you're going to feed this through here. Just like this. But make sure you get this make sure you get this front piece right here in into this little lip right here. Just like that. And then get this feed it through just like that. And you are good. Now the screws. It's going to come with two screws, a long one and a short one. I'll put set this right here. Okay. Just a heads up. Long screw goes here. Short screw goes here, so long screw goes in the back, right behind the trigger. Like that. And then the short screw is going to go right here in the front. Just like that. Tighten it up. Remember, not too tight. Not too, too tight because you don't want to strip nothing. Boom. Now it's on there nice and secure. Okay. Let's put that clip in. Use the, there we go. Now the clip is already going to be filled so you'll have a full clip eight rounds now these rounds are removable but i'm gonna caution once you remove them they're kind of a kind of a pain in the butt to put back into the clip i mean it's definitely doable i mean and and, and don't get me wrong it's not like it's like difficult but it's just a pain in the butt so me personally I'm not taking the rounds out of the clip. I'm leaving them in there. Now, to put the clip in, what you're gonna want to do, I'm not sure if you're gonna if you could see. Can't see inside. Let's see. So you're gonna want to put the clip as far back as as you can. So the further back the better, and then down. And then you're going to push that clip all the way in until it clicks. Now, what I do is I'll take this tool and boom, and get it to click. And then once it clicks, what I like to do is move the clip back just like that, straighten the rounds out. Now, the reason for that is if you straighten the rounds out, it pops out better when you hit this little button right here, this little button. So let me show you the functions before I show you that clip. Oh, let me put, let's put the sling on. Now the sling is a little different because this is a replica or, or this mimics the actual Garand sling. So just letting you know to put it on, there's a certain way to do it. It's not super hard. Once you do it once, uh, you'll 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 get it. It's 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 pretty simple. So what you're gonna want to do is it comes like this. You unhook this back piece right here. Now you have this shorter piece, and then you have the longer piece. You're gonna want to unhook this back piece and feed it through the the sling mount here, just like that. Okay, hooks facing away from the stock okay so you feed that through just like this and then 
you take the other side. So you're going to bring this, the keeper, the upper keeper. So you got the lower keeper, upper keeper. Bring this keeper up. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to feed this piece right here. Now, this is the piece, the piece that does not have the hook on it. Feed that through the second sling mount. Just like that. So now you got it like this. And then you're gonna feed the you're gonna feed this underneath the other piece. But what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take that keeper, the, the keeper that's up on top, and feed feed that piece that you just went through the sling mount, feed it through the keeper. Just like this. Okay. Now here's where, where you're gonna want to start tightening things up. Now take this, this piece, and pull it nice and tight. What I like to do is I like to pull this till this until this end is like as as pretty yeah, as far down as I can get it. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna give it a little bit more, more length on this side here. There we go. Might, might have been a little too much. Oh no, actually that might be good. Okay. Pull this keeper, pull this keeper back. And remember to feed this back through. This other the other keeper boom and you pull that up to the top there and then what you're going to want to do get this bad boy nice and tight let's pull it just a tad bit more There we go. I like that much better. Okay. Now let's pull it. Pull this. You're going to want to hook this up top. Once you have that hooked up top, then you're going to pull this bad boy. This bottom piece. Nice and tight. And hook it right there. Boom. There we go. Just like that. And one sling is done. Just like that. Now let's move this out the way. Okay. Now let's now check out the beauty of this. Has the nice wood grain, leather strap. Now this thing is all die cast metal, so it has some good weight, nice weight to it. Check out the other side. Looks nice. It's dope. This thing is beautiful. Top. Now let me show you the sight. You can move it, turning this. You can raise the, the rear sight up and down. You could pull the trigger. Also, there we go. And then the clip inside. And then you have this little compartment in the back. It's super cool. This is where on the real thing you would put um, the cleaning kit. 
All right. Now, let me show you what's up with the clip. Pull that back. You got this little button right here. Push that button. Just like that. Clip goes flying. <laughs> Dope. So there you have it. The M1 Garand with an ejecting clip. Leather sling, wood grain, nice and heavy, super, super dope, and the patent sticker. All right, so if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, leave a, leave a, leave a comment in the bottom. Um, if you haven't picked this thing up yet, make sure you pick it up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Go Guns, subscribe to Instagram, goat.guns, and make sure you follow us on Facebook. Also, join the Go Guns Addicts group. It's a private group on Facebook, Go Guns Addicts. Stay tuned to the next one. Peace.